Hi, my name is Domenico Di Guglielmo. I come from La Belle Provence, Quebec, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And I am here on this spectacular symposium. The type of stone we have here is basically a, dom a dolomite, which is some kind of a marble. And it's pretty hard, let me tell you. Uh, my project here is entitled Canuck. It deals with the Canadian. In this, at this particular time, I'm questioning who is a Canadian uh, and how are we going to keep this great country of ours unified. And therefore, I am working on this Canuck, which is the Canadian, which uh, began with the uh, derogatory term for French Canadian, and then now it's accepted as a sort of a Canadian born uh, term. Uh, in my particular case, what I will be doing right now, what I'm doing is roughing, uh, removing the larger part of the stone. Then I have a design which will go on it. And I will cut out the contours, cut out all the negative parts, which are the holes in the sculpture itself. And then from there, add in the details. Once, once the various other forms have been created, then I add in the texture, uh, the smoothness or the roughness of the particular surface. Once we remove a piece of stone, we cannot add to it. It can only be <laughs> removed, so we have to be sort of careful with the, with the technique that we are using and in the removal of the stone. Sometimes we use a large saw. And in this particular stone that I'm working on, we did use, yesterday for example, a large saw to remove a large chunk of the uh, stone. Now what do we mean by a large saw? The, the sculptor uses grinders with blades which are nine inches, seven inches, four and a half inches. The blade that we're talking about is this wide, so we're talking about 30, 40 inches in width, and it's just behind me. Uh, so this section here was cut, then I remove it with the smaller blade. I have, I've just finished cutting this with my nine inch saw. Now we use water. The reason why we use water is so we don't create dust, number one. Number two, the blade, when we use water, the blade itself doesn't warm up. And if it doesn't warm up, we, it lasts 50% longer. So instead of using it for a normal a blade like this, it lasts about 100 hours. Instead of 100, I can use it for 150 hours. Now you noticed that when I was breaking this, the chips tend to go towards my face. Well, it's part of the game. And doing sculpture is a game. I mean, it's a, a pleasurable, it's hard work, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's an addiction. That's the best word that I can describe it with. Hi, my name is Domenico. Around here my friends call me Tony. I'm from Italian background. I've come to Canada as a young child. What I've created here is a work entitled Canuck, the Canadian. And if you notice, if you have noticed, at the beginning I've introduced myself as a typical Canadian. When you ask a Canadian where, where do you come from, well, you know, I, my old country is such and such, and then instead of we saying, I am simply a Canadian, which I am. In this particular work called Canuck, what I've, the immediate image comes from the Iroquois Indian. And if you look at this particular wave here, and you start thinking of this bump as perhaps a nose, this bump perhaps lips, and this one here is a chin, perhaps you can begin to see a silhouette of a, of a person. And as you go towards the back from the brush cut to the feathers, you begin to recognize the image of a typical Iroquois or Indian or uh, an older type of Indian. That's the immediate influence. Being Canadian involves you know, we are a nation where we, go, we came from the, the Indian, 
the North American Indian that lived here in our fabulous country, all the way to the cityscape that we have today. So in this particular work, the second element of the work is to go from the organic life, which are organic shapes, shapes which are taken from nature and resemble the movement of nature, to geometrical shapes that resemble man-made objects like homes and cities and cities and so on, which are more in the geometrical squarish type, triangles and so on. Uh, the spaces for me are extremely essential in a particular sculpture, so it gives a certain amount of depth. This particular work is an abstract, what we call an abstract piece of art, and as you, uh, 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 the forms are derived from nature and interpretation of nature, and the pure, uh, simple playfulness of shapes themselves and forms within a particular work. So I, I in particular enjoy the use of line. So I've used quite a bit of line in this work and any of the other works that I do. And if we go to the other side, I can point out certain features which are taken from the Iroquois Indian, for example, the element of the expression, the, the, the through time, the line through the face, and how those are derived on the other side. So if you come with me to the other side, Hopefully you can see now from this side the whole sculpture and from just the outline of the sculpture itself, which we call the silhouette, the perimeter, we can perhaps identify this now as the silhouette of a face. Perhaps we can identify this as the forms which are created by the feathers on the Iroquois Indian. And the element of line which comes in and the movement because of the number of years and experience of the, the, the particular age of this particular Iroquois which I've taken the immediate image from. And then again, the lines flow from the organic element of life which are trees, mushrooms, etc. which have simple uh, or, uh, flowing forms, it could be seawater, it could be any of those elements which come into this, and moving backwards in a rhythmic style, just like in music, you get to the straight lines, straight edges, and the concept of the modern city and the, 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 the modern man. The elements here move from the organic life to the city life, and what we have here, this is the title of the work, again, I like to repeat it, it's Canuck, Canadian. And the Canadian life, as really as we know it as Canadians, does not have thousands of years of, 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 of history. We only have a couple of hundred years of history. And, and as we move from the Aboriginal man through the, the settlers here, mainly Anglo-Saxons and from France, uh, and the rest of us Canadians that come from all over the world, we move into city life and a lot of us live in urban centers so we have moved from the from the organic living from nature to the industrial to the business world to the city to the the geometrical uh, landscape that we have around us thank you i am canadian